welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a high-end haul or like more Sephora Alta type products, a bit of ColourPop. It's a whole mishmash. I decided that I was just gonna combine January and February because I've been really bad about keeping track of my purchases to be very honest. Usually I try to put them away in a basket so I can film these like monthly haul videos but I've been all over the place you guys so bear with me. Hopefully I can be better in March. Hopefully I just won't buy any more makeup in March. Everyone just say a little prayer for me, okay? Perfect, let's get on with it. So I had recently played with the Lethal Cosmetics Hive Palette and I do follow them on Instagram and then they posted saying this bundle was back in stock. Totally blanking on the name right now but when I saw the layout and I saw these shades online, they just look so beautiful. This green shade was just like freaking calling to me so I couldn't say no. And of course I bought it, so here it is. This arrived um, This arrived while I was gone in Vegas and uh, I haven't played with it yet. So it's brand spanking new, all the prints in the pans are still there. And I'm excited to bring you guys a review on this palette. And I really like the Hive Collection, so I have a really good feeling that I'm gonna like this one by Lethal Cosmetics. The next thing I picked up is this guy, and this is called the Harvest Moon Bundle by Cleonade. I, again, got this when I was away, and it's just a very beautiful neutral palette, like, shade range, but the shimmers definitely have a few, like, hidden little surprises, so definitely keep an eye out. I do wanna film a swatch party video with these babies and yeah look at how beautiful that is so really love that I did break down and I bought this because it was going for like 15 bucks and this I blame on the fancy face because she kept going on and on about what a great deal this was and it was beautiful and so I bought the what is this called the making magic palette by Jouer and it also comes with this little guy right here so I'm interested to try this out. I've never, oh, I had one eyeshadow palette from Joy previously, but I haven't really played with a lot of their eyeshadows. And so I'm excited to try that. And then because I didn't want to pay for shipping, I did pick up another one. So keep an eye out because this will definitely be in a future giveaway for you guys. The next thing I picked up is this guy. This uh, is another Cleonod collection. This is the North 56 or something 55 collection. I'll try and remember to leave the name down here because I can't quite remember. Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner totally made me buy this. She posted a picture or something and I saw it and I was like, holy shit, that's gorgeous. So I bought the whole collection and these shades are beautiful. Again, I have not played with this yet. So look for a swatch party and a review video coming sometime in 2019. <laughs> the next thing I recently picked up, this is like one of my most recent makeup purchases, is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. This is beautiful. When I saw it on trend mode, I was like, holy crap, I need that. And I actually used it today. So this is my highlight palette. And yeah, it's cool so far. I like the size. I think it's very Natasha Denona. I love the packaging and I will review it for you guys, hopefully. Otherwise, I did talk about it on Instagram, so if you are not following me on Instagram, I will link my Instagram down below. Go check me out because I definitely talk about makeup a lot more frequently on my Instagram. The next thing I picked up because I was in a bad mood and I was doing some damage on ColourPop, I bought the It's My Pleasure palette. I had totally made fun of this palette on my Instagram stories and I don't know, I was just itching to buy makeup and I feel like when I itch to buy makeup, I usually do the least amount of, doubt, d amount of damage on ColourPop because it's so affordable. So I figured everyone was talking about it so I'd buy it too because I wanted to be a part of the cool kids club and it's actually really beautiful in person. I'm really curious to know if anyone's compared it to this palette yet. I actually haven't played with these in forever and I just used the ruby on my eyes today and I was like, oh my gosh, has anybody compared the um, It's My Pleasure to the Amethyst? So let's just look at those two side by side. It's a lot of purple palettes this year, guys, so very, very cute. I like the size of this as well. Next, sometime around Christmas I bought this. This is the mini matte trance 
collection from Pat McGrath. I don't know if I've featured this in a video before. I'm sorry if I have. I don't really know why I bought this. Maybe I'll give it away. I, I don't know. It was a bad, bad plan. I also, okay, guys, I did get this little bag of samples from Sephora. I don't know what I ordered. I think it was around my birthday, and I got a bunch of cute little samplies that I need to try. And then I did pick up the Becca, Chloe, Malika situation. I can't remember if I hauled this already, but I do really like it. It's beautiful. I don't know if it's going to work on anyone deeper than me <laughs> because it is so light. But I do think it's beautiful and I really enjoy it. I haven't used it in a while actually, but when I first got it, I was using it all the time. So there's that. Also want to show you guys, I did pick up all of the ColourPop mascaras. At first I said no to this because I had just bought a high-end mascara, which I'll show you next, but I saw that they had a bundle and I was like, hey, why not? I am a fan of color, so I decided to try those. And I saw another YouTuber wearing this Jelly Much Shadow on her channel, and I thought it was beautiful. This is the shade Bungalow, and it's like a green shade, and it just looks so beautiful on her, and she had nothing but good things to say. She said it was so easy to do a cut crease with this Jelly Much formula, and I wanted to try more shades, but I told myself, hey, let me just get the one, try it out first, and then if I enjoyed it, I can buy more. So I definitely need to play with that as well. Okay, so let me show you guys a bit of skincare I picked up. I did pick up this Superberry Hydrating Glow Dream Mask from Youth of the People. It's been so cold here, Polar Vortex. I'm right in the middle of it, and I literally thought my skin, my face was gonna crack because it was so cold. And so I decided to try this. This is for all skin types. And yeah, it is pretty hydrating. It's like an overnight mask that you can just wear to bed. And then I also decided to try the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. This is, you know, very sticky. It says apply a few drops to face, AM and PM. I think this was like $7, so totally worth trying out. And then this guy has been so nice as well. This is the Laneige Sleeping Mask, Water Sleeping Mask in the scent Lavender. It smells so good. Again, it says it's for all skin all skin types and it's 2.3 fluid ounces. And yeah, this is basically hydrating and purifying and I've really been enjoying it. It says it's a moisture recharging gel mask. Works overnight to supply intense dose of hydration with hydroloinized mineral water while calming sleeps and helps you unwind, redefine beauty sleep, and wake up to glowing skin. So it's so hydrating. It feels like there is just a drink of water on your face. It does dry down to a very interesting consistency. It doesn't bother me, but that intense like first drink of hydration feels so nice in the winter time. I actually even use this during the daytime because that's how cold it's been. And I've just really been enjoying that. And then I picked this up again while I was in Vegas. This is just to clarify jelly face mask from Lush. There's a Lush store in, in um, Caesars and it's my only time really to get to a Lush store unless we're in Minnesota. So I picked this up and pretty much used it every day. It is jelly and it's exfoliating. So I put it on, kept it on for a little while and then exfoliated my skin with it. I do need to bring this up to my shower so I can use it more. But yeah, it just says, pinch off some jelly, work between dry hands to form a paste and apply on the skin, leave on for 10 minutes, then rinse clean. So, super nice. I like that very much. And then, also from Vegas, I did pick up the Caution Mascara by Hourglass. This is a full size of it, and I'm really enjoying this. So, very much happy with this purchase. It is definitely pricey, um, but it gives me nice long lashes, and yeah, hopefully I'm going to definitely get my money's worth out of this guy. Okay, guys, the last few things I want to haul is this is the Davina Cosmetics Harmony bundle and I accidentally picked this up one night or early in the morning one night while I was traveling. 
I didn't mean to buy it, but I accidentally hit Apple Pay and I thought Apple Pay was like PayPal, but no, nope, it just completed the purchase and I did try to email them and tell them, hey, that was an accident, please don't send me this, but they did, so now I have it. And I had my eye on this bundle from Davina and these like green shades and these purple shades really spoke to me, so I have it now. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to review it for you guys, but it is a very interesting color combo. I also decided, again, because I wanted to buy some makeup and I wanted it to be affordable. I did buy the I Love Sarai E through my eyes palette. And I was kind of annoyed because after I purchased a whole bunch of makeup from ColourPop, they went on sale for 20% uh, because they hit like 7 million on Instagram or something like that. But anyway, this is a gorgeous palette. I've only used a few shades. This shade Mesmerize is a beautiful bronzy golden color combo so I do really like that and then uh, I did finally pick up one of their build your own face palettes I had had my eye on doing this for the longest time and it's so affordable I feel like to pay $30 for five of these and so here is the palette I created from ColourPop and I really like this new Z palette thing they're doing which is really fun and then I also bought this curated palette of singles which honestly are mostly repeat shades but like I said I was craving some ColourPop and this just looks so stunning on the website with the you know palette and the colors and the tones and it was Valentine's Day and I was like give it to me so I bought it might have not been the smartest move on my part but I'm okay with it and then finally somebody bought me the James Charles palette for my birthday it was so sweet uh, my friend picked this up for me at the Morphe store in the Mall of America because she was buying it for her daughter and it happened to be like my birthday or something and she bought it for me and told me it was my birthday present. So here is the Morphe X James Charles palette in all of its glory. As you can see, it's brand spanking new. My birthday was on the 28th of December, so I still haven't broken into it. I'm nervous to try this palette out, so we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, but that is everything from my high-end-ish makeup haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what products you've tried from everything I've hauled. If there's anything else you think I should pick up, I'd be happy to talk to you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will catch you soon in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>